For years, there have been rumors of mysterious creatures lurking in the Florida swamplands. Tall tales of ape-like animals walking upright. Tonight, ABC's Gloria Riviera goes looking for a face-to-face -face encounter. Hey, get out of my way, get out of my way, I can't film. It's 10 p.m. in Florida's Green Swamp. There it worked. Yeah, I hear that. I thought that was one of you guys. No, there was something running towards us. That's 63-year-old Mark Barton and 51-year-old Chris Connor. For the past three years, they've been on a wild mission to prove that Florida's very own version of Bigfoot, the skunk ape. A lot of activity. A hairy, seven-foot-tall, half-man, half-ape creature. It's close. With very bad body odor. Oh, there's that odor again, guys. Is for real. They swear they've seen one. It looked apish. Had um, round cheeks, thin lips, uh, the broad nose, deep eye sockets, and what you can make out to be a thick brow. Legend has it the creature lives somewhere in here. 110,000 acres of the overgrown, waterlogged, snake-infested jungle <laughs> known as Florida's Green Swamp. She's like Jurassic Park in here. Chris says he and his sister first spotted it when they were children. It was taking like three of these larger steps getting back into the swamp and just blended into the swamp and that was it. I'm beginning to be more and more convinced that, that this area has what we're looking for. The only problem is, is that you got the guts to go looking for it. Why here? Why this swamp that happens to be in your backyard? You've got thick vegetation, you have running water, you have wildlife for food. Why couldn't they be here? The duo spends most weekends trekking through palmetto trees. Oh, the mosquitoes are getting thick. Trying their best to avoid the creatures they do know exist here. How big was he? He's seven foot. He didn't like me getting camera close. Adventure and fun drive them. With the two lonely souls to go back out to go die hard here. But it all started as a kind of therapy. It all goes back to his wife was terminally ill. And we knew she was dying. And the day was eventually going to come. And so I said, when the day comes, you know, you need, you need to stay busy. And at the time, there was a Finding Bigfoot show that was beginning to be more popular. And I said, you know what? I've always wanted to go do an expedition. And I said, hell, why not? I have to do something. If I sit here, I'm not going to make it. Now they're hooked. They document their adventures on their YouTube channel, The Trail to Bigfoot. Someone's going to pan slowly over there. This video is, they say, their jackpot proof. The day they nearly came face to face to it. That black speck right there, they say that's the skunk ape. There's the eye opening up. I do see some right there. Right. Looks like some blinking possibly going on. There's the other eye. It does look like something big and dark yeah, and hairy. It right there. It's not a hog? No, it's not a hog. When people say you're crazy, your answer is... We're going to do our part to be able to show what's really out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there's water right there. Okay. Now I'm interested in what's out there. So we don't know how they're going to interpret the cameras. We don't know. Because Whether they'll see them as weapons. We're about to head in. Right. This is probably the moment where you're thinking this is crazy. Thanks. It is thick jungle in there. So I'm going to treat this as seriously as you do. Now remember, this is what we're looking for. This is where we're going? Right in here. About a half mile in. Look at this. This was fresh. Mark and Chris start finding what they say is evidence. Are you looking at a footprint, Chris? Yes, not enough. I'm just saying it looks like there's some characteristics there. With a large toe and another digit and another it's very digit. very small, though. And so, see, a hog won't do that. A, a deer won't do that. that. It looks like the toes are, are, are splayed just a little bit. Just but a little it's not bit good of... enough. But it's just of interest to pay attention to. It is of interest. No I'm just saying I don't hear birds. I prejudge you. I mean, yeah. I mean, we passed an area right up there. Your... And to me, the atmosphere changed in the woods for me. Yeah. If they're in the area, the wildlife just shuts up because they're the alpha yeah, male. But still no sighting. And then? What the hell was that? I did hear something. I, 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 I also heard no, something I over there. Sure. I heard a knock. I don't know what it was. I heard something. It sounded like a clap, something the guys referred to as a knock. Hey, hey, what? Are you hearing something this way? No, I heard stuff this way. Chris is following back this way, but up in this direction. Well, I thought it was a knock, but it just. I, something was going on. I can't hardly explain it. Now, even I'm like, wait a minute. Is there something out there? Your brain starts playing tricks on you and you start thinking you're seeing what you want to see. And I kind of want to see a Bigfoot. 
But instead of Bigfoot, I see something else. Oh, snake. Big one. Where? Big black. It's okay. It's just a black one. It's an indigo? There he goes. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Except when we examine it further. Holy Lord Jesus. That's a freaking moccasin. He's dirty looking and they're very territorial. And you can see him right there. Got him by his. Yes. We want to make sure. And here we were. How far away from the glory of three foot? <laughs> too, too close. Yeah. So I was completely wrong. It's a water moccasin is what it looks like. Very deadly territorial snake will end your career. Maybe we should go that way. <laughs> it's okay. It's just a suggestion. He's not coming after us. After a total of five hours, show yourself. No sign of the apparently shy skunk ape today. What is real? Their brotherhood based on believing. There is an aspect about this that goes beyond even Bigfoot. We go out in the green swamp and we put our lives on the line. So I have to rely on that Chris is going to not leave me. He'll drag me out of there. And I will do the same with him. It's a bonding thing. It's a bonding yeah. thing. How long do you guys think you'll be out this? I'm 63. Can I go out when I'm 68? I, I, I hope, I plan to.